Hey everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much for listening in the podcast. And thank you so much for subscribing here on YouTube. And if you're listening on Spotify, thank you so much for following me on Spotify and answering the polls and the questions that I put there. Really means a lot to, uh, for me to see you guys interacting. Um, so uh, thank you also the people who listen on the Apple Podcast, on iHeartRadio, I Amazon, and every other platform that you get this, um, this uh, podcast from. I just want to say, come here, guys, and give you an update about the Michael Miller death, okay? We know, um, I think I came yesterday and I spoke to you guys about the sudden death of Michael Miller, um, Pastor JP, um, wife, who was found dead um, on last weekend at a state park, okay? Let me just tell you something. Her death, uh, her cause of death, has been released earlier this afternoon. In case you haven't heard yet, the medical examiner confirmed, okay, the medical examiner confirmed today that Micah Miller died from a self-inflicted, and you guys know um, what it is. I don't wanna say everything detail by detail because I don't want this video to be censored. Or I don't want to trigger anybody. So anybody. So if you guys, um, you know, if you know topics like this about um, what we're discussing here might trigger you or somebody who's listening with you, please be aware. I should have said that earlier. Please be aware. Um, I think a lot of people listening to this and watching this are following up on the uh, the the death of Michael Miller, and we know the the first. Uh, thing that was said about that, right? So I do apologize. I, so here's the update, guys. The medical examiner confirmed today, earlier this afternoon, that Michael Miller did die indeed from himself. And you guys know the rest, right? The reason that I'm saying it like that is this Do we know that there's a lot of red flags on this um, marriage that? Micah Miller and Pastor JP, I believe his name is, had, yes. Here's the thing, guys. This news has been trending for the past couple days. It seems as though everybody's talking about somebody dying. And the way she died, okay, is something that a lot of people right now are struggling with. So please. You know, I could have come here and tell you more details about what happened and how a lot of people don't believe the husband, all of that. We can all, all of that. There are people who are going detail by detail about this marriage. Please keep in mind, okay, that this just happened. You have a family who's grieving her death right now. You have a, a, a ex-husband that had a trouble marriage with her it's very obvious okay who went to church this past sunday and was greeted by a protest of people outside demanding justice for her for her death and i you know you guys know that i'm all about um going against domestic violence and i hate that and i hate divorce all of that stuff you guys know where i stand on that but please there's something called prudence. I think I've spoken about this before. That we as people, specifically speaking about people of God, people who are ministers in the church. She was a worship leader in the church. There's a lot of people right now who her death is very, um, people who love her, right? Friends and family. I mean, her funeral just happened, okay? Her funeral just happened. Her life is completely being exposed right now. All the trouble that she had with her marriage, everything is being exposed right now. And I, I'm, I'm guilty of that. I came here and made a video about it and give you more details. And I, you know, and I said, you know, he's probably responsible because it, you know, we have so many cases similar to this. But just as I was getting ready to give you this update about what the medical examiner just said, 
God said to me, people need to take it, you know, calm down on this. This news seems to be everywhere. And this is a very unfortunate thing that happened. Um, whatever the case may be, it's very unfortunate for somebody to lose their life. But we need to know that it's so recent. There are people grieving still. And even if he was somehow responsible, he might be still grieving. Okay, let me just tell you something. If he's responsible, he's not gonna get away with it. I think people are just, you know, I think that what the church uh, leadership did to, um, to release him of his duties of pastoring the church was a great decision. I think that was really good because I couldn't believe that the day after he found out she died, he's out there preaching. Like nobody else could take that position. Like, come on. Um, nobody else could uh, jump in and like help out and maybe they offer and he, he declined you know I, like I said before he should I said in my previous video he shouldn't be talking to the press right now I think the press and every other person out there like me like a, a blogger podcaster is just going into details by details about this marriage basically exposing everything that they can get their hands on and you know you hear like uh, on videos and you you turn on the um good morning america they're talking about her they're talking about the husband and everything she posted on facebook and i think i think like i said it's so sensitive everything surrounding what happened with her that we need to know people are still the what happened like she's no longer here and that's so fresh right now in the friends and family that are still basically processing everything that happened so for somebody to to just here's the thing i know there's red flags you guys you guys know that i come here and spoke about a lot of crimes like this and things that happen um and it's a human nature, right? You cannot help it but think, oh, you know, he's responsible because this and the other. And I said in my previous video, start looking at Google searches, right? And start looking for surveillance videos. Somebody must have seen something. Do I know that a lot of people who commit things like this, what the medical examiner said today about her and how she died, do I think it's very odd because when you are in that mental state from what we've seen from other previous cases people don't usually drive up to the state park to do something like this right and they do it in their privacy or their home right but just as i'm telling you guys this and i was gonna say that before i'm like wait a second but she wasn't really living at home she was staying with friends right because she had left the home she was planning to divorce him so she, you know, she was still staying with friends. So that's another thing, right? Like a second ago, I just, I was just thinking, man, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, it's true what they say that he's responsible because people who are in this state, uh, a lot of the times from what we've seen, you know, now that I know subjects and things like that, it's just a statistic. A lot of the times people who commit something like that to harm themselves they don't usually drive up to the state park and do it okay they usually do it in the secrecy of their home you know right behind closed doors but she wasn't really at home you know so she didn't really have a home so if you think about it here you are your friends are opening your home to give you time to heal with whatever it is the situation that you're going in right now like some of her friends already came out and said we were talking about helping her pay for her car like she was in a very low mental state for somebody to not only seek shelter you, you know that's something that you have to think about not only seek shelter asking you know how you know figuring out how to pay her car filing for a divorce paying a lawyer and then putting a restraining order basically against her husband that's you know 
basically your life is crumbling down you have to think about that so if people say you know why would she drive to a park to do that people usually do it at home she didn't really have a quote-unquote home if you think about it you know she had moved to a friend's house from what I believe like I said the information can change so rapid here because it's so fresh this is this just happened the medical examiner just released earlier today what the cause of her death was right so I had said I posted earlier you know we're waiting on a full investigation of, of the case of Micah Miller um, and then you now, now I'm thinking about the pastor right he knows that a lot of the times when things like this happen especially when there's a divorce filing in the middle especially when she had left the home earlier this year how can he not think that he's gonna be looked at right especially when she put a restraining order against him how can he not think so when you already think that you're gonna be guilty or falsely accused of something yours like he, he was talking a lot i noticed that and showing up to the service also you know he's almost like he's trying to by trying so hard to to not create suspicions around him he actually make himself so suspicious right so you have to also think about stuff like that this is so new and you have to allow i guess the family to at least process the news of she, her passing first before you trying to so let us know how the relationship was like all the details that are floating to the surface about their life is just a little you know i'm not saying that I, like I, i'm not saying that i'm mad it's just a little too much like three days ago like for the general public i guess you can say we didn't really know who they were right now we have these details and it's like wait she just passed like this is still very fresh people need to have some type of prudence and not release everything they know so fast we need to you know come down i think for the pastor you know he is he knows that everything kind of will, will point down to him because there's so many other things that are like how can they not think of that and because of that i think that's why it's getting him so nervous that he's like man if i don't you know this is just me assuming i don't know him right you know if i don't show up to the church then i say they probably think that i'm trying to um to do something high evidence or whatever right because you know we're so quick you know the media is so fast and the, this case has been like top trending for the last 48 hours and it's not about somebody dying it's about their life and and their divorce and what she posted and i understand guys like i'm more against domestic violence i get they had issues i get that she left the home i get that there was a restraining order i get all of that but you have to see things play out meaning the formal investigation okay a lot of the times when when people let me just for me just from a couple of years like doing youtube and things like that and following crime cases a lot of the times um the husband will try to hide it so well right that's why you know you wait from the investigation it's not so obvious that he keeps mentioning people say he keeps mentioning she had a mental illness excuse me she she uh, he keeps mentioning that she struggled with this in the past a lot of the times you don't see that from somebody who is um who had nothing to do with it okay a lot of the times um but maybe i'm mispronouncing what my point here like a lot of the times um the husband when they're responsible they usually say um you know i have no idea what happened um she always seems so happy like they'll try to lie about it they will never be so open about it and i know it's weird and i know it can sound like odd but this is why this is so 
like i feel like for me like i never heard of, of them before until this news came out and i know a lot of people don't know and i understand that her friends are coming out and talking and saying well she said this and the other you have to wait for the formal investigation too right that's why we have professionals doing their job you know um doing all of that and you know that he's not god is not going to let him just get away with it if he's responsible so let things play, play out like we just had the medical examiner come out and say the actual cause right and like i said like before i even started this video i was like there's no way she would drive up to a state park and do that people do that usually at home she was she wasn't living at home right now that makes sense right well she you know why would she do that she, you know her friends open her doors to live in her home for a couple months until she get things sorted out and then they're gonna find her like that and like she's she's gonna do that and make their friends go to to finding her like that in their own home that's another thing you know it just it's just it, it can change so fast that's why you have to wait we know that mental health is something that a lot of people are struggling with right now and that's also a reality so thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel let me know what you guys think about this um developing news about her cause of death um said today by the uh robertson county medical examiner thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel have a good night god bless Hi everybody, this is Julissa. I'm here to invite you to my podcast, Julissa Designs, and it can be found on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. You can join me every day as I make episodes of the latest news, real life stories, and I also share my favorite Bible verse. Hope to see you then. God bless everybody this is julissa thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you want to know more about me you can always visit www.julissadesigns.com have a great day everybody god bless